Sometimes in computer animation, it's nice to have a delay. Objects follow another object delayed. They're lagging back. They wait until they reach the original goal. This is pretty trivial uh, using keyframes and with only a couple of uh, objects in the scene, but it's not trivial at all if you have uh, lots of objects in the scene, like in Mesh. So let's start with a simple cube here and go to the Mesh menu set, which you find under Animation and Mesh here as well, and uh, click on this icon. So we have 10 of them now. Let's uh, reorder them by clicking on Distribute and uh, let's reorder re them from, by clicking from uh, choosing from linear to say spherical. So that's a spherical uh, arrangement now. How many? Well, let's pump that up to maybe 250. So we have lots of them. When you click on the invisible original cube here, which is, it's not in the scene anymore, it's sitting there in the center, but it's invisible. You can still rotate it like this, and all the instances, as they are called, the 250 objects are instances, uh, they rotate with the original. You can also scale it. They all do this instantly and not with a delay, and that's why we click on Mesh now. Go to the main mesh node and click on delay, add a delay node. So the delay node currently doesn't do anything here. Uh, we need a leader. For that purpose let's create any kind of object, for example a sphere, and we call it leader sphere. Let's pick the mesh again the mesh delay and now uh, let's middle mouse drag the leader sphere into the target here. Let's make the sphere red in order to see it better. But now we can animate the sphere and uh, that's what we'll do now. We'll animate it in a very simple way. Um, we will animate the rotation, for example the rotation in Y, in the Y axis, which is the horizontal axis, so to say. Um, well, we can rotate it equals time. So it's a pretty slow rotation. Too slow equals 30 times time. So now the center sphere rotates and you see the blocks rotate accordingly. They are following the rotation of the sphere. Now let's animate something else, namely the uh, translate Y parameter. Let's go to the beginning of the animation and set right mouse click a key here in this field. So it's zero here. Now let's go to um, 200, frame 200, and yeah, set another keyframe here with a zero. And right here, briefly after the beginning of the animation, let's translate that object high up. Like this, and set a keyframe again. So what happens now? You see, they not directly follow the sphere, but they lag slightly behind. And now it's time to hide the original sphere. Control H. We can hide the grid as well. We can change the background make it a little bit more interesting. And now we'll go to Mesh. And here is the Mesh Delay node. 
And now we can change several parameters here and watch what's happening. So let's change the time variance here. Let's extend this a little bit more now. You see how the last ones take their time now to follow. That's the time variance. The time offset. We can uh, set the delay for position, rotation and scale. Since we don't have a scale uh, uh, animation, uh, this doesn't matter, but the rotation does and the position does, of course, mainly. Let's uncheck this just to see what's happening now. Just the rotation is visible and it's uh, delayed as well. We can lower the strength of the delay like this. So it's following more strictly the original. And of course we can animate all this with keyframes. The strength currently is set to a random number of 1. So the delay node picks randomly instances, blocks from the sphere and uh, applies them uh, in a timely manner to the animation. Now it's less random, now it's stronger here. So that's basically the delay node. This is the step strength, that's a per particle thing. It's usually by default set to 1. I think we can set this to 100 as well. So it's not limited to 10 or 1. Oh, before we go, let me change the distribution from spherical to a grid. And in order to distribute our objects more widely we need a little bit more space here for all of them like this what do they do now basically the same but from that grid pattern and if we distribute them linearly these are the originals here. Um, well, we need more distance for 250. We can lower this amount here to say 27. And this is what's happening now. Have a nice day.